Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the how to make an RPG game in Godot 4 and today we're going to be creating our Y sword and collisions. So if you need Y sorting in your game which is basically like the player being able to go in front of the tree or behind the tree based on which one's lower on the screen then uh, this is going to be perfect for you. And then you know just basic collisions so you can't run into the tree or I mean so you can run into the tree and you can't like walk on top of a rock or something like that. But before we get started I just want to ask if you go below hit that subscribe button drop a like on this video to help YouTube push this series to more inspiring game developers so they can learn to make their own Godot games as well. But without further ado, let's get started with episode three and create Y sorting and collisions. So basically as the game is now, if we play it and we can, you know, just walk right on top of this tree. But like when we walk here, we need to be on this side of the tree, which is right. But when we're back here, we need to be behind the tree and not on top of the tree, right? And then we also have no collisions whatsoever. So to make all this stuff, it's actually pretty easy with the new tile set system in Godot. So if we go to our tile map and then we go to our physics layer right here, physics layers, and we click add element, it's going to add a physics layer, but we still have no collisions, right? Because for the collisions, we need to go into our tile map down here and we need to go to our, you know, click on a tile and then let's see hold up no we need to go to our tile set so down here there's tile map and tile set you need to go to your tile set and then let's say we want to make the collision for this tree right so we click on the tree we click paint and then we click select a property editor and then we'll go down here to physics layer zero which is the physics layer we just added and then as you can see it's going to upload a little square right here if we click on this tree it will you know kind of overlay it on the tree let's zoom out so we can see the whole tree so we can bring the collision layer down here and you can move it around anywhere you want on the tree and then if you click uh the line you'll add another like little point so you can expand the collision area and as you can see that looks good that's the stem of our tree and then if we go down here and we click on the tree again you can see it puts that as the collision shape for the tree right and then if we go to our bush, it's going to put the exact same one if we click the bush, but we need to change it. So we see the bush is here now and we can click on this X to actually remove some of these because we're probably not going to need all of all of those. And then if we expand it, you know, for it to look good on the bush, we can just go like, you know, right here and then right here and then we'll add one more, I guess. And that looks good. Right. So then we click on the bush. Then we click on the tree and we make it look good for the tree or the little tree like so click on the tree and then the stump make it look good on the stump and you kind of do this for every tile that you need collisions with right but obviously this is going to make collisions and it's not going to make the y sorting so we still have to make something for the y sort but the collisions play a big part in the y sorting so you know, even for a little one square, it's the same exact thing. We'll just make the collision around this big so we can walk behind the rock. Because we probably want to be able to walk right here, right? Because from a 2D view, that means you'll be able to like somewhat be behind the rock, but like walk in front. Like this is how you want a rock to look, right? And then we click there. The sign, same thing. The sign needs to be, you know, just pretty small so we can actually remove some of these and that i mean that looks good right there for the sign and you can zoom in like super close too but you know that looks good for the sign so put that for the sign and then the crate the crate can be we'll do something like that right and then put that for the crate and then if we go back and we play the game as you can see if we play the game we don't have collisions but we can fix that let's let's check what let's check what's happening so first of all do we have a collision shape on our player we don't even have a collision shape on our player so that that's the error number one so we go to our collision shape in our player let's add a collision shape to our player real quick we'll just actually move our player up because we're going to need to move our player up anyway because our player this bottom i think needs to be towards the bottom for y sorting to work actually i i don't think i know it does but now it's not going to let me move the collision shape 
Whoa. Okay. So I'm. I'm. Okay. There we go. There we go. So the collision shape will make it like this big. We'll make it like right there. And then if we go to our world and we play, now we should have collisions and we do, right? So we can walk behind the tree kind of, but as you can see, there is a true collision shape there, right? So if we go here and we stop, there is a collision shape. As you can see, like right here, we, we need to be behind the tree, right? On this side of the collision shape, we need to be in front of the tree. On this side of the collision shape, we need to be behind the tree. So to do that, that's where Y sorting comes into play. Okay, so I actually wanna go back and I wanna fix the player. So you know how we move the player up? We actually move the uh, entire player up. So I'm, I'm just gonna go back here real quick and do a couple back spaces like this. And then we'll take our collision shape and we'll make everything, you know, correct real quick. So we'll just fix this up real quick. It's, is it not gonna let me, not gonna let me move this around? There we go. And then, all right, so there we go. Now we need to go to our player. So we'll actually go to our player right here and then we'll go and we'll chain, we'll go to ordering and we'll turn Y sorting on. And then we'll also go to our world and we'll go to our node 2D in our world and we'll also turn Y sorting on. And then we'll go to our tile map and the layer that we made in the last episode that we called Y sort, which is basically the trees, the crates, the rocks, Everything that we can walk in front of and walk behind will turn Y sorting on here as well, right? And I also want to go back to the player after we do all that. I'm going to go back to the player. I'm going to go to the animated sprite. I want to do all this right, you know, so we need our player. We need it to be on the center, right? But we need our animated sprite and we need our collision shape to be shifted up. So we'll go to offset and we'll just offset the Y by like 15 by negative 15. So like that so it's kind of like the legs are at the bottom and then same with the collision shape we'll just go here and it's not going to let me offset it will it no it won't but we can just change the y a little bit to like 15 we'll just go like 30 or i mean we can whoa what zero okay so we'll just move it up right about you know like right there and that should be good, right? So now we have our player and if we go back to the world and we play, everything works, right? We still have collisions. Everything is working fine, right? But now we have Y sorting on, but you're like, it doesn't Y sort. Even though we turned all the Y sorting on, why does the tree not Y sort? Well, that's because we haven't made the Y sorting origin for this tree. And to do that, we gotta go to our tile map. We gotta go, you know, like actually into the tile set down here. And then we can paint an, a new property and we'll paint our Y sort origin, right? So then we'll click on this tree. And then is it not Y sort origin, right? And then yeah, so Y sort origin. Am I selected on one? I don't, I don't even think I'm selected on one. Am, okay, we're, no, never mind. We're selected way up here. So as you can see, you move the Y sort origin, like we can move this origin here to right. I mean, yeah, we'll move it. So this origin is like, if the player's in front of this little dot here, then he'll be in front of the rock. If he's behind that little dot, then he'll be behind the rock. So we'll go to like five and then we'll click it, right? Same with up here, we need it to be like right at four. And then on the crates, we need it to be probably at, probably at five. Yeah, we'll go with five. The tree, we're gonna need it like at the trunk area, right? Because if it's at the trunk, then if it's at the trunk, then that will, or if it's on the trunk, then that means if the player is in front of the trunk, it's in front of the tree. If it's behind the trunk, it is behind the tree. So we'll go with like nine and we're actually gonna need a lot. So we'll go to like 20 and that actually looks good. So 20 and then we can, back off for this one and that actually looks perfect this one we need a little bit more that maybe a couple more maybe we'll go with like 17 that looks good and then for the log we need a lot less we'll go with like maybe seven maybe five and that looks good right so these are the origins this is where it's going to sort the this is where it's going to sort the uh 
the the difference so if it's if the character is under it then it's going to be in front then the character is going to be painted on front if it's behind this dot then the character is going to be painted behind the tile right so if we play the game it should hopefully work and it doesn't work right so now let's figure out why it doesn't work okay so as you can see we have a little node we have a warning which is basically saying that the tile map layer is set to y sort which is our layer three that we set to y sort but the tile map itself is not set to y sort so if we go to our tile map and somewhere in here there should be a y sort it's probably going to be down here a little bit in ordering y sort enabled if we turn y sort enabled on for the tile map then it does take away the air so let's see let's play and then hopefully it works now and as you can see it works right so that was a little air you have to actually turn the y sort on for the tile map as well as the world 2d as well as the player as well as the layer so as you can see this rock if we walk behind it we're behind the rock but if we're on this side then we are in front of the rock if we walk you know we're behind the stump here but right here we're in front of this is what i'm trying to show that if we're in front of the tree we're in front of the tree but now we're behind the tree now we are in front of the tree now we're behind the tree up here now we're behind the tree now we're, we're behind the crate now we're in front of the crate we're behind the sign right so everything works and looks very very good so yeah that is why sorting in godot and i hope this video did help if it did let me know in the comments down below but this is all for episode three Next episode is going to be pretty cool as we are going to be making a little combat system or an enemy for the game. So yeah, we're going to be making an enemy for the game and you're for sure not going to want to miss that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it helped. If it didn't, let me know in the comments down below and I will be happy to help. But next, until next time, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video so more inspiring game developers can learn to make their own Godot games as well. Be safe and have a wonderful rest of your day.